welcome to SSRS tutorial so in this tutorial you are going to learn how do the lookup lookup set and multi lookup functions work in SSRS report these functions are powerful tools for bridging data set and retrieving relevant information in SSRS report so now before going to a de demo we are going to understand what is the lookup function actually if you are familiar with uh, sql so if you want to match two tables based on some conditions these conditions are the same column is available in both tables the same thing is applicable for the lookup so in ssrs lookup functions retrieve the first matching value from a specified data set based on name value pairs in a paginated report so here is a like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel we have a table like tbl person sales person and uh, we have another table that is product master on the basis of product id i can pull this product name with the help of lookup we are going to create a blank report for you click on next button and uh, here i have already created a shared data set so i am using this data set to connect with my database query builder to design your query here. right click on this area and add table product sales person click on add button here i am going to connect port click on close and here i am going to execute this query so here you can see we are getting product id and salesperson you can say array of the salesperson in salesperson column click on ok button and go to the next we are choosing report type tabular and we are going to select product id and salesperson and the report name is product vendor and salesperson report click on finish now you can see here now i'm just going to to hide the parameter section so we are going to preview of this report so here you can see the product id and salesperson so we want the name of the product for this i am going to add a new column in this report and i am going to make little bit changes here as well uh, like properties in this section background color black and the font color this and the size of the header is font is 9 okay and the same for the detail column size is 8 okay now uh, we are going to add product name name for this we are going to use lookup function so we are going to the report data and in the data set we are going to rename this data set as a click on ok button and now we are we need another data set uh, so in this SQL we need product master so we are going to use 
product master data set to apply the lookup feature in SSRS report. So here we are going to add new data set. So the name of data set is DS product and we are going to choose share data set and we are going to choose query builder query builder or you can say query designer click on add table and in this section we are going to choose tbl product master add and we are going to close this and then we are going to execute this query here you can see the product id and product name so here click on ok button now click uh, on this column go to the expression use lookup and you can get this lookup uh, function from the common function in the miscellaneous here in ds uh, product sales person is our main data set and product id is the common key in both data set so we are going to choose our new data set that is ds product and here you can see the product id so remove this sum and the name of the data set okay now so here that is our source expression that is our destination expression and now we have a retrieve column name is first product name so here we have to remove the first keyword and then pass our data set name the target data set which is now here you can see the source expression then destination expression then the retrieve value the name of the data set from which you have to retrieve the value and click on ok button now preview of this report so here you can see the uh, product name now we want to pull the vendor's name okay so here we are going to apply lookup set function so look the lookup set function retrieves a set of matching values from a specified data set where there is a one to many relationship so now go back to my sql here you can see the product uh, value now if I can see the vendor mapping with this table with the product then you can see here we have one to many relationship if you are facing any challenges with this kind of the data set or uh, the data you have then you can apply lookup set function in our SSRS and going to add new column that is vendors list for the product for product okay so we are going to pull all the vendors for this product we are going to add one more data set that is ds vendors and we are going to choose embedded we are going to embedded data set and in the text section we are going to choose query uh, query designer and here we are going to add this table that is tbl product vendor mapping id and vendor name then click on ok 
उसके बटन नाउ वी हैव वेंडर्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई लुकअप सेट फंक्शन ऑन डी एस वेंडर्स राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस टेक्स्ट बॉक्स एंड गो टू दी एक्सप्रेशन विंडो एंड हेयर यू कैन गो यू कैन सी हेयर लुकअप सेट सो डबल क्लिक ऑन इट सो हेयर यू कैन सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लुकअप सेट फंक्शन एज वेल वी हैव मैन डेटा सेट इज अवर प्रोडक्ट सेल्स पर्सन सो प्रोडक्ट आई डी इज अवर कॉमन वैल्यू इन बोथ डेटा सेट प्लीज मेक श्योर इन बोथ केसेज द डेटा टाइप ऑफ ईज सोर्स एक्सप्रेशन एंड डेस्टिनेशन एक्सप्रेशन शुड बी सेम so in vendors so here we are going to apply this remove the sum so in this case we are using the same data type okay and then the retrieval value that is vendor name and the name of the lookup data set here in the common function in the text section you can see we have a function called join it returns a string created by joining a number of substring contained in an array okay so click on this and click on join and then we are going to apply vb C R L F. It stands for carriage return and line feed, which means C R moves the cursor to the starting of the line, and L F moves the cursor down to the next line. Like this, and click on OK button. Now preview of this report. now you can see all the vendors which are associated with this product id now we are going to use multi lookup so in the sales person you can see the this column is containing the array type value that is sales person id so we need all the persons name which are related to this sales person id so go to the dn mode and right click on this header choose right section and here we are going to call sales person name multi multi lookup so in this case this uh, is uh, applying one to one relationship but uh, the dash the source expression uh, should be in array format so here first of all uh, we are going to back our sql mode and here you can see the name of the sales person here so you can see product list and the sales person name so and these are the sales person array and we have to retrieve sales person name for 201 201 205 2082 202 206 from the sales person data table for this we are going to create a new data set that is ds sales person and we have pre defined data set in this section we are going to the क्वेरी डिजाइनर ओके इन क्वेरी डिजाइनर राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस हेयर एंड चूज टीबीएल सेल्स पर्सन क्लिक ऑन एड क्लोज दिस एड टेबल्स window and choose both columns and execute this query so it is workable 
it is working now and click on ok button and here click on ok now we have a data set ts salesperson now we are we uh, we are going to retrieve salesperson name from this ds salesperson on the basis of ds salesperson which is available in product salesperson so in this section go to the expression window and here you can see the multi lookup so use multi lookup to retrieve a set of values from a data set set for name value pairs where each pair has a one to one relationship okay so here we have array so here what we are going to do we are going to apply the split function to split salesperson from a array and a make a runtime table that is we are going to use split and the split column is this and then we are going to call our destination destination expression that is salesperson id now the value from this data set is salesperson name and the destination data set click on ok button and preview of this report here we are getting some error okay so in this case this is because we are going to apply join the name of this click on ok button preview of this report still we are not getting the salesperson name let's go back to our design mode and here in the expression window so here uh, because salesperson array returning the data type in a string format in a character format so for uh, so in the destination source we have to convert this int value into the string to do this we are going to apply to string uh, this is a predefined method in ssrs and click on ok button preview of this report now you can see uh, we are getting the lookup value lookup set value multi lookup value from various data set okay go to the property in the property window we are going to choose the color this and border color is border style is solid we are going to apply solid or dotted then preview of this report so here you can see it is very easy to use lookup lookup set and multi lookup function in ssrs report thank you for watching us please uh, like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel